Hello everyone. Today's I do, you do lesson, we will be working with converting within fractions, decimals, and percents. Let's go ahead and start by reading the I do problem. John has a fireworks shop. This year, he bought 132% more fireworks than last year. Which value represents 132%? On the right side of the screen, you will see the cube strategies that we will be using today. We will start with circle or underlying keywords. But if you prefer, you can also highlight 132% more and which value represents 132. Then we box our question. Which value represents 132%? Remember, the question is a focus to finding the answer. Next, we elaborate. I will use green to circle the percentages he bought from last year. 132% more, 132%. Our final step is to solve. I'm looking for an equivalent form of 132% as a fraction or a decimal. We know that 100% is equal to one whole number. If we have 132%, this equals one whole with 32%. But what does that 32% represent? Well, let's set up 132% as a fraction. 132% over 100%. We will always use 100% when comparing percentages because 100% is the original value and 132% is the increased value. We already know that it is one whole and 32 hundredths. We can eliminate A because it is not 68 hundredths. We can also eliminate D because it is not 3 tenths. It's 32 hundredths. And finally, we can also eliminate B because it is not 13 holes, but one whole. Our answer choice is C because we use the process of elimination. And if we had to simplify, we can use four as the greatest common factor. One whole, 32 divided by four equals eight. 100 divided by four equals 25. That is how we would have gotten one whole and eight 20 fifths, C. We are now done solving the I do problem. At this time, you can move on to the you do problem and use the cube strategies to solve. 